Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I have something a little different here that I'm gonna do first before I get into the nail set. Um, Dossier contacted me and asked if I would like to try um, two of their fragrances, so I said yes. So I got to pick out two fragrances and they had a lot to choose from. They had, a, I mean, so many to choose from. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. These are the little boxes um, that they come in. And then this is what it looks like here. So these fragrances are inspired um, by like designer scents. And then... So we get this little card here. This is the first one that I picked. It's called Citrus Peony. And this is what the bottle looks like here. It's really pretty. And it's got the little sprayer there. So this one has top notes, mandarin, bergamot, black currant, middle notes, rose, apricot, and peony. And the base notes are musk, peach and raspberry. So this one is inspired by Dior, the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and spray this. And this one, oh, it smells really, really good. Yeah, I definitely smell Yeah, a little bit of bergamot, the rose is there, and like the peach, it's more, it's like a fruity, but not too much. And look at that, it's like a magnet. Yeah, I really, really like this. It's real clean, real clean smelling with like the hint of like the rose and yeah, like the fruits there, but it's not a real like, you know, strong like you, like, you know, fruity scent. It's, oh, it's really pretty. I really like this one. So yeah, that's that one. And then the second one here, this one is Fruity Neroli. And this one, the top notes are burger, Bergamot, Neroli, blackcurrant, strawberry, and then the middle notes are jasmine, tuberose, orange blossom. The base notes are vanilla, musks, and cedarwood. And this is inspired by Giorgio Armani, My Way. These are the women's scents. They do have men's scents and then unisex scents. So there's something for everybody. There's so many to choose from. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and smell this one Ooh, that is so pretty right away I smell the orange um, the orange blossom and then jasmine yeah jasmine oh it smells so good oh my goodness all right, so just a little bit about Dossier. Um, they were founded because they wanted to make premium fragrances accessible for everyone. Um, a lot of these companies charge, you know, a couple hundred dollars for little bottles of perfume, and I think that's just ridiculous. So they wanted to give everybody a chance to experience these wonderful scents at a very affordable price. Um, and they just, they smell excellent and they actually last all day. Um, I sprayed one scent on each wrist and that was at seven in the morning and it's now about 6.22 in the evening and they still smell really good. So they're excellent, um, excellent scents. And I do have a discount code, it's Sandra S 10 and I'll leave that on the screen and link down below. And you can use this code um, even if there's other deals going on, 
um, you're able to still use my code on top of whatever specials they have going on and you'll save you know an extra 10% so I think that's just awesome so thank you so much dossier for this um, opportunity these are absolutely amazing definitely go and check them out I'll leave everything uh, linked down below and so now we'll get into the nail set all right, for today's set, we're going to be doing my first kawaii set. So I did the unboxing for the Hot Tips nail box, the June box, um, about two videos ago. Um, and so yeah, I'm gonna be using the acrylic today and some of the charms from that box to do a kawaii set. So I put on my peel off base coat and I just let that dry. And then I did apply the tips with the six in one from Born Pretty because the nail glue just wasn't sticking because of the base coat. And then I just cut the nails down just a little bit. And then I'm just roughening up the tips so that the acrylic to the tips better. I'm not touching my nail bed just because I have that peel off base coat on. And then I'm going to be using the Pinkie Pie Glitter from Southern Glitter Shine. I just did a, a haul video on that. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I should have kind of, maybe I should have mixed it in with the acrylic, but I just wanted to add a little bit on top in certain places while it was still wet. But I wish I would have used more because it's just so pretty. So yeah, I'm using that acrylic that came in the Hot Tips nail box uh, for June. And then the monomer I'm using is Enel Couture, the cotton candy monomer. The acrylic was real easy to work with. I mean, it had a lot of pieces in it, little butterflies and different shapes, but it was really easy uh, to work with. I really, really liked it. And I liked it because it was like more of a jelly kind of pink. So I thought it just went real well with, you know, with everything. All right, so I'm just taking that little Joss Love brush and I'm just taking a little bit of glitter. I just dipped it in the monomer and then I'm just sticking it to the acrylic while it's still a little bit wet. And it's real pretty. It has like a purple shimmer to it. It's really, really pretty. And I just kind of pat it down with the acrylic brush that has a little bit of monomer on it. So now I finished putting all the acrylic on the nails. I'm gonna go in with the Young Nails Core Clear. And this is the one I got in a haul like a little while ago. They had a big sale and you got two for one. So I put one in a giveaway. So when I get to my 500 subscribers, I'm gonna have one of those in there. And so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and just apply the clear acrylic to all the nails to seal in all the glitters and make sure we don't file them off.
Yeah, this clear is really, really clear. It's not cloudy at all. I just, I absolutely love it. All right, so I'm just showing here the Enel Couture uh, file here. This is the one that you, like the stick and peel that you take the, um, the file, you, there's like a strip on it and they're sticky. So I got the 100 grit and then the 180. So I just went ahead and replaced it because the other one was pretty bad. There wasn't much grit on it. So I just removed the backing and then stick that onto the metal. That's the little metal file part. And yeah, I absolutely love, love his files. They're so good. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of crispen up the sides and um, the free edge there and just make it nice and crisp. And I'm going to take my e-file and just go in with this coarse bit and I'm going to go around um, around the cuticles and just debulk um, any acrylic. I know I kind of made the apex a little too big there and it kind of went flat at the bottom, you know, towards the tip. So yeah, I just tried to try to shape it up as good as I can. And then after I do that, I go in with the sanding band and just make sure that everything's nice and smooth. And then the last part of my filing I do is I go ahead and use this buffer and just buff out um, any scratches and just make the, the nail really smooth. And I'm going in with the Dom top coat. This is from Enel Couture and this is the first time I've used this top coat and oh I really liked it. They came out super shiny. It's supposed to be like a um, like a glass effect, no scratch it, you know, scratch proof and all that. And I really, really liked it. I, it wasn't really th too thick either. Like I've used some that are way too thick and it was like the perfect consistency. So I really, really like this one for definitely for acrylic. I'll have to try it on like poly gel and stuff, but I really liked it on the acrylic. And then I cured that for 60 seconds. And I'm gonna use the, the new squeezy gel uh, rhinestone glue there from Enel Couture. That stuff works really, really good. It's real thick and the gem, the rhin or excuse me, the charms really stay in place. I really liked it. So I just apply, you know, a generous amount because these are big and heavy charms, and I just placed the charm on and then I uh, went ahead and cured it for 60 seconds. So yeah, this gummy bear charm didn't come in the box and the M&M didn't either. Um, so yeah, I already had those charms, but yeah, I've been waiting to do a kawaii set and I just thought this acrylic went really good. Just instead of using like a plain pink, I thought this had added a little bit more fun, you know, to the set. So yeah, I really, really thought they came out cute. This last one was super heavy. Oh my God, my whole hand like felt really heavy. It was so weird. But this one was really, really heavy, but it was cool. I mean, I wore them, I wore them around for a little bit in the house. And then, um, yeah, I was trying to cut vegetables and stuff for dinner. And I was like, yeah, I can't do it with it. But it was fun though, it was fun to do. And so I'm just applying my cuticle oil here. 
But yeah, definitely if I was just going somewhere, you know, a party or something I would wear them, but not for everyday use. But I thought they came out really cute and that glitter just added a little bit of sparkle in there so yeah you guys um check out the hot tip snail box it's a really cool box it's so different than any of the other boxes they always have different stickers and charms that you don't see anywhere else so i'm going to include some pictures here and some of them are in the sunlight but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and thank you again dossier for the opportunity i really appreciate it and thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time bye mm -hmm.